In the screencast previous to this, we talked about multiplying polynomials with the help of algebra tiles. In this video, we're going to go beyond that and talk about multiplying polynomials uh, which algebraically. In this specific lesson, we're going to talk about multiplying polynomials by mon monomials or one-term uh, polynomials. Okay, so let's begin with uh, reviewing uh, the multiplying of monomials together. Just two monomials. How does it work? Well, let's just take a look here. First of all, I've got the first equation here, 3x squared times 4x to the fifth. How do I do this? Well, what I have to do is I'm going to multiply the numbers times each other first. The coefficients get multiplied together first. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 4. That's not a 4. Let's just change that quickly. Said it, but I didn't write it down properly. Okay, so 3 times 4. There we go. And those are the two coefficients. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the next part. Now there's these, all these uh, coefficients and variables are all multiplied together, so I can change the order. And I change this to x squared times, and this becomes x to the fifth. So there's all four parts uh, of those uh, terms there. And so then we go ahead and we take this and let's finish it off here. So what I'm going to do here, 3 times 4, I do that part first, and I get 12. And then what I do is I do the x's, x squared times x to the fifth. When I remember when I multiply things with the same base, I add the exponents, I get x to the seventh. And there's my answer to that question. I've simplified it by multiplying it together, and that's as far as I can go. Let's do one more question here, just for review. And uh, let's just take the next one here. Let's just do the again. We do the coefficients first, and this time I'm just going to. Uh, I'm going to multiply those. I'm just going to write it straight out. I'm not going to rewrite the question. I'm just going to, 5 times 7 is 35. And then what I'll do is I'll do the a's. a times a cubed. Well, how many a's are in the first one? That's 1a, and there's three more in the second term. So 1a times 3 more a is a to the fourth. Add the exponents. Add the exponents. Multiply with the same base. We do the b's now. They have the same base, b. b squared times b to the sixth b the fourth is b to the sixth. There we go. Okay. Which gives us our answer, 35a4, b6. Um, okay, so we've just reviewed very quickly multiplying monomials. Let's get into what we're doing, going to do today. How do you multiply a polynomial by a monomial? The answer is use the distributive property to expand or remove the bracket. We're going to Distributive property means you multiply and in other words, we multiply each term, each term in the bracket by the term in front of the bracket. Well, what's the term in front of the bracket? It's an x here. Example number one. And in the bracket, we have two terms here, an x and a, and a minus 7. So what's going to happen is we're going to multiply this term in front by each of the terms in the brackets. So we have here first, we have x times x. And then we have minus, and uh, we're going to multiply the x now times the next term, which is the minus 7. So minus 7 times x. There we go. And what does this equal? Well, x times x is x squared, because both of these, there's 1x and 1x. 1 and 1 is 2. You add the exponents. And for the next one, we're just going to uh, multiply 7 times x, which is just 7x, or minus 7x. And there it is. There's our answer. Let's multiply each term by the term in front. Let's do another example. Okay, so let's do this one. 2x times 3x. Again, we can just write this out. 2x times 3x plus, there's a plus sign between the two. And then we'll go ahead and do 2x times the 5. So this is 2x times 5. Well, let's do it one at a time here. So 2x, 2 times 3, do the first ter terms, two terms, well, but together. 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. First one's done. Plus. The next one, we do. 5 times 2, we get 10, and then we have x. 
It's x ball by itself. There's no other x's to multiply by, so it's just x. We don't change that, and there we go. Simple as that. Just multiply each term in the bracket by the term in front. Let's keep moving on here and do the next example. We'll just take care, we'll just do this one. Now, this is, now pay attention to the negative sign here. Negative 4x times 8. Let's write that out. Negative 4x times 8. Okay. And then we've got uh, minus, I'll just change color here quickly. Minus 2x times, that's a negative 4x. We just put those in, put that in bracket here so we know what we've got. And uh, let's see what happens here then. Let's just put it below. So what I've got here is I got negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. And I've got the x just by itself. So negative 32 x. The next uh, step of the way here, we're actually going to do negative 2x times, wait, what, sorry, neg not negative 2x, negative 2, negative 2, let's just, get, so it's not too confusing. Again, negative 2, here's part here, times the two numbers, the two numbers together. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Negative times a negative is a positive. And then we do the x times the x, and we get x squared. And uh, that's that's the answer. We're done. We're done. So let's just box the answer and know exactly what the answer is. Negative 32x plus 8x squared. Okay, just watch your negative signs. Have those negatives. Be careful. Remember, negative times negative is a positive. Negative times a positive is a negative. Here we have one. Uh, this time, the polynomial in the bracket has how many terms? It has three terms. One, two, three. That's okay. That means we multiply three times just like that okay so the first thing we're going to do is the 3a times 4a squared then we're going to do let's just uh, change this a little bit okay plus 3a times 8a and lastly we're going to go 3a, it's plus again, 3a, times 7. Okay, so let's do that again now. And uh, so 3 times 4 here is 12. a times a squared, so that's a to the 1 times a squared is a cubed. There we go. And now we'll take care of to the next term, plus... 3 times 8 is 24, and a times a is a squared. There's two a's there. We're almost finished. And this one here, we're going to multiply the numbers. Always do the coefficients or the numbers first. 21, 3 times 7, and there's just an a there, and we're done. And so, again, there was three terms in the bracket, so we have three terms in our answer. And we can't add or subtract those terms, you notice, because they're not like terms. They have the same letters, but they do not have the same coefficients on those letters. There's a cubes, a squares, and a's. So that's that's it. We've simplified it as much as we possibly can. Number five. Number five is a little bit different. Let's pay attention carefully to this one. And number five, we've got this negative in front. What does that mean? Well, it's kind of like there's an invisible one here. It's like negative one in front of this thing. Negative 1 times y squared. What does negative 1 do? If you multiply something by positive 1, it doesn't change it. It just stays y squared. But multiply by negative 1, what does it do? It changes the sign to negative y squared. But don't forget, you have to also multiply or change the sign on the next term. Negative 1 times negative 5. Negative times a negative is a positive 5y. And lastly, negative 1 times negative 10 is plus 10. Negative times a negative is a positive. So all the negative in front did was just change the sign of everything in the brackets. The positive y scared, squared became a negative, and the negative 5y and negative 10 became positive. And so it didn't change the numbers, the coefficients there. It just changed the sign. And uh, that looks like the last example here. 
So I hope that uh, makes sense.